Hi everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about Makeup Artist Kit Essentials. So these are going to be some of my absolute favorite items um, that are in my kit. Um, I'm going to be talking about products that are really versatile, do double duty, triple duty, quadruple duty. Um, if I was an award show host, my criteria for winning would definitely be versatility. Um, when you are out on a job, you definitely don't want to be lugging around stuff you don't need. So when you have products that multitask, they're really, really helpful. Um, they help cut your kit size down. Um, they help, you know, with your visits to the chiropractor because you're not lugging around something that weighs 500 pounds. Um, and it's always nice to be really prepared and have things with you um, that can serve multi-purpose functions simply because sometimes, let's be real, as a makeup artist, you don't always know what you're walking into. Um, so it's really nice to feel really confident that you can be pretty much prepared for anything. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I probably will do another one of these videos because let's be real, I could talk about makeup all day long. Um, and this is this is one of my favorite types of video to watch on YouTube because I have gotten so many great ideas um, from watching these videos that have definitely really helped me. So um, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So my first product that I'm going to talk about is definitely a makeup artist favorite. It is super handy in a pinch incredibly versatile product and that is the makeup forever flash palette and this guy is absolutely wonderful if you don't have this in your kit I guarantee you you will get your money's worth it is a little bit on the pricier side it's $99 but for the versatility that you get from it absolutely worth it um, so this guy right here this is what it looks like so you get all of your primary colors you get all of your secondary colors plus you get a white uh, black and a brown and then you get um, a metallic silver and gold in there and basically they're just pure cream colors You can just mix them together and create whatever it is that you need um, They work pretty much in any application you can use them as lip colors cheek colors eye colors um, I've made a color corrector for concealer out of it before you can use them for contouring just pretty much anything that you could possibly dream of, you can do with this palette. Um, you can adjust foundations with it. Just, I mean, the applications are just endless. You do get quite a bit of product in there too. The only one, I've had this for over a year and you'll see like the only one that I'm kind of getting down on is the white because I use that a lot to mix stuff um, to adjust tones. But, um, you know, honestly, it's not even it's not even close to being done so I mean again expensive but really really worth it because you get a lot for your money and it's super helpful I love that it's so small too that's really nice it doesn't take up a lot of space in a kit so definitely one of my favorites um, let's see we'll do um, this is a weird one um, but this is actually a really really cool Thing that I've kind of found um, that I didn't think was going to be as useful as it's turned out to be and that is the makeup eraser cloth this guy right here um, so what I use this for is I actually use it to spot clean my brushes um, because I actually find that when I'm working on the same model and I don't actually need to clean them um, I can just wipe them off on here and then it will just take the immediate color off and I can just change so rather than having to repurchase brush cleaner over and over and over again I just use this guy and it's it's worked really well so this is 20 bucks so it is a little bit more on the expensive side but honestly brush cleaner is about ten dollars for like maybe a two ounce size for a decent brush cleaner so I found that this has saved me a lot of money and I love that this is just machine washable so when I'm done with it and I just need to clean it out I just throw it in my laundry and then it's fresh and ready to go the next day um, it also works really well at you can clean like your palettes and stuff off with it because again it will just grab onto that makeup and just take everything off so super handy I don't know what's in this that it's like a magnet for makeup it's really really weird um, but super handy um, investment um, this will long term has saved me quite a bit of money so happy purchase um, obviously if you want to you can take your makeup off with it too I mean I wouldn't really use this on a model or anything um, but again works great as like a brush spot cleaner um, so yeah let's see what's next um, We'll talk about these. So these are also from Makeup Forever. Um, I will say I do have a lot of Makeup Forever items um, just because Honestly, it's going to turn into a little bit of a love fest because I love their pro products. I just think they make wonderful products. Um, they're really tailored to an artist's needs um, and they definitely perform well in the field. So um, they have some really innovative stuff that I think is really cool. They're very effective with, with sizing and things like that. So they don't make products that are honking big or anything like that. 
Um, so yeah, a lot of Makeup Forever products on this list, sorry. Um, but those, these are the chromatic um, mixers, I think. Yeah, chromatic mix. Um, so basically what these are is they're foundation adjusters. So I have the brown one and the white one, um, which allows me to lighten and darken foundations. They also make a yellow and a red one, so you can adjust the, the tone, the undertone of foundations. Um, I absolutely love these. I think they are so fantastic because um, they just allow me to have to carry a lot less with me and always have the confidence that I can mix a shade down. Um, you can just mix foundations with each other, but then you have to keep in mind you might change the undertone if you mix two shades together and things like that. So I just find that these give you a lot of control as an artist to really just do what you need to do yourself and not have to worry about if something's going to change a, an undertone or anything like that unless you want it to. Um, also, I love that they're so small. Um, so again, they don't, they're not heavy. They don't take up a lot of space. They're pretty inexpensive. They're only $15. They're really, really pigmented. So you really don't need a lot um, to adjust a shade. Um, so they're a really good value, really good investment. And again, they save you a lot of money on having to have like a full range of foundations, especially if you don't work on like a, a single, you don't tend to work on a single like ethnicity or, um, skin tone group, I guess you could call it. Um, they're really handy to have because then you know that you're always going to have something to cover every shade of the spectrum. Um, so love those. Those are fantastic. Um, Let's do, oh, this is a really good one. Um, so this is the Josie Marin Argon Balm, and this is just a lifesaver. Um, you can use this stuff for so much. Um, it works, it's basically what it is, is it's just, it's just like a, almost like a waxy kind of balm. It almost looks like a lip balm. Um, you can, it's pretty much just a solid argon moisturizer. Um, you can use this as a cuticle cream. You can use it as a lip balm. You can use it as a hand cream. Um, for somebody that's incredibly dry, you can press it into the skin and use it as a really nourishing moisturizer. Um, for somebody that's super dry around the eyes, I like to press this in first before I do concealer because it just really smooths out the skin. Um, just pretty much anything where you need hydration, um, this is your guy. And I love, again, it's this is the travel size. So they don't make a travel size of this the big one is like really big um, but they do come in holiday kits so I always make sure I pick up one of the holiday kits so I can have a smaller one because these little tins this one's a brand new one but these little tins last a really long time because you don't really need to use that much but I find that these are this is super super helpful and it's one of those products that does a bunch of things so it's always really handy to have those in your kit um, my next product that I'm gonna talk about is another skincare one, and this is probably one of my most life-saving products on earth, and that is the Peter Thomas Roth um, Firmex Peeling Gel. This stuff is incredible incredible so what it is is it's a really gentle exfoliator um, and it you just it's like almost I'll show you it's almost like a gel so what you do let me roll my sleeve up here it's really cold in here today so I have like a billion sweaters on right now um, I love Minnesota not so what you do is it just looks like that and you just rub it into the skin and you're not probably not gonna be able to see this yeah not really. Um, well, nah, not really. But it will pull off any excess dead skin. Um, so you just can put this kind of on somebody's face or if you just need to do like a spot, um, you just pop it on and it will just pull everything off. I've never had anybody have a reaction to it. Um, and it is just wonderful. It just makes the skin so smooth. It's perfect for that that client that you have that she wants like that Instagram filtered face. Um, she wants that perfection, but she hasn't taken care of her skin. She doesn't exfoliate. Maybe she's dry or oily or acne prone. I can just pop a little bit of this on and it really, really, really helps with the texture quite a bit. Um, or if I'm putting something on somebody and it's starting to build too much on the skin, I can kind of use this to get the excess product like just out of the pores, out of everything. Um, so I don't have to take off the entire complex oh my god I don't have to take off the whole complexion I can, I can just take off that spot um, it is really expensive it's $48 but it is a 3.4 ounce size and you really don't need that much and honestly like I think it's worth every penny um, for what it, it can do to help you achieve that perfect complexion um, I find that that's probably one of the most important parts when you do makeup is getting the skin right so anything that can help me on that journey let's be real I 
want it, I want it, and I want it bad. Um, so that's really good stuff, absolutely. Um, let's see what else. Um, another thing that I always have with me or that I've been recently been loving um, is I love these Makeup Forever palettes. These are fantastic. Um, so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, they get a pass on all fronts except the fact that I wish the top was clear. Makeup Forever, make the top clear. Um, but you know, I can get past that. They're pretty thin, good magnet, but they're huge. You can fit so much more stuff in here than you can in like one of the MAC palettes or a Z palette. So I'll show you like this, and I don't have the new MAC palettes, I have the old ones, but I think they're the same size. You see that? And then this is the Z palette. Like so much more stuff. And I love these too um, because, because there's that space, it allows me to customize them. Um, so like if I know what model I'm going to be working on, I can just put everything that I need for her. Like you can see in this one, I've got a couple blushes, I've got some powders, shadows, brow powders, um, just everything that I need for one face in this one kit, um, which is, I just think absolutely fantastical. They're pretty durable too. Um, this one got a little bit dented, um, but it didn't hurt my shadow. So that's great. And I've traveled with them too. Um, and they work, they work really well for travel. Um, so I absolutely love these. Um, they're out of stock right now on Sephora.com and it's just like slay me. I have like the little email reminder cause I want to get more of these cause I want to put all my stuff in these and man, Sephora is taking forever. I want it. I want it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, those are, those are great. I love those and they're not that expensive. They're like 15 bucks too. So they're not super expensive. Um, so let's see, my next product that I'm going to talk about is probably something that's in your kit anyways, but it's just, I have to mention it because they're super handy, um, and that's um, a good clear lip gloss. Um, I find that carrying lip gloss around with you is really pointless because people don't ask for it that much. So what I like to do is I just depot all my lipsticks and I have them um, in like a palette, like, here I brought it, Oop. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna drop stuff. I have everything on like kind of a smaller table, so um, I have a lot of stuff in front of me. Um, so like this is right here, um, the Japanese one, which I wish that I hadn't bought this. Um, I have seen reviews on the Mac one and I really wanna try that one, but I don't wanna pull everything out of there and out of this and put it into a different palette. So I'm just gonna hang on to this one for now. Um, but the lock really isn't that good. And I don't like this little center divider thing. I wish it opened on both sides. Um, just because it's kind of messy, you have to dig in there to get it. So don't buy that. I don't like that. And it was really expensive for how like not functional it is. But anyways, clear lip gloss. So normally I usually will just put like a lip product on somebody um, or a liner. And then I'll just put a gloss on top. So this is the Makeup Forever one, the Glossy Full. I do like this one a lot. Um, I love anything that comes in a squeezy tube. Again, for ease of use, um, I can just put it on a palette and work with a brush rather than having to have like disposables around um, and go through those um, so it's a little bit more cost effective that way as well Mac makes a really good one Bobbi Brown makes a really good one um, the brand really doesn't matter that much as long as it's not super sticky um, and it uh, yeah as long as it's not super sticky I find that I usually don't care because they're clear so it's not like they have a color anyways um, another thing that I really love um, is Let's see. Oh, okay. Again, Makeup Forever. I'm sorry. I know you guys. Um, but I love the Makeup Forever brushes. I definitely want to get more of these. I have a couple of them, but I think slowly I kind of want to replace my, my kit with these um, because they have this little, if you look at the end of all of their brushes, they're spatulas. So genius so rather than having to dig around and trying to find my damn spatula or clean off whatever was on it i can just use this oh i love it plus they have really nice brushes like this is a really good one this is the 216 and this brush is like the best shape ever it's kind of dense and then it's like a little bit domed so it's really good for like crease work um i love it under the eye just yeah, this is a good brush. I like their brushes a lot. They they do make, they're really expensive, but they're really nice brushes. Um, yeah. I think, I think that's it. I think I'll stop there. That's a good run. We'll, we'll take that. Um, I definitely, I mean, I could talk about makeup all day. Um, so I definitely have more products that I really love. And I'm sure I'll do another one of these videos eventually because... 
again. I just love talking about makeup. I can't help it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll put links to all the products below in the description box. Um, please subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks, guys.